today we're going to look at rounding numbers to the nearest hundred. We're going to start by rounding three digit numbers, then we're going to use this to help us round four digit numbers. We're going to use number lines to help us. We're going to start by looking at the number 364. I need to do is position the number 364 on a number line. I need to work out which multiples of 100 fall on either side. 364 falls between 300 and 400 so I need to write these at either end. I then need to write 364 on my number line. 364 is just before halfway between 360 and 370. So I need to count up to 360 and then position 364. 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360. 364 is about here, so I'm going to write 364 on my number line. I can see straight away that 364 is closer to 400, so I know it must round up to 400. I can also check this by counting how far away it is from 300 and how far away it is from 400. I need to count on 64 to get from 300 to 364, but only 36 to get from 364 to 400. This time we're going to look at 728. Again, I've drawn a number line, but this time I've looked at which multiples of 100 728 falls between. 728 falls between 700 and 800, so I've written 700 and 800 at either end. 728 is just below 730, so I've positioned it here. We can see just by looking that 728 is closer to 700 than it is to 800, so we must round down to 700. We can also check how far it is from 700 by counting on 28 and how much further it is from 800 by counting on 72. This time we're going to look at what happens when the tens digit is a 50. I'm going to look at rounding the number 850. I know 850 falls between 800 and 900 so I've written these at each end. I can see straight away that 850 is right in the middle of 800 and 900. I need to count on 50 from 800, but I also need to count on another 50 to get to 900. When rounding, if the number falls directly in the middle like this, the rule is to always round up, so I need to round 850 up to 900. This time I'm going to look at rounding to the nearest hundred when we have a four digit number. I'm going to round the number 2,568. If I focus on the 568, I need to work out which multiples of 100 568 falls between. It falls between 500 and 600, so I've labelled my number line with 2,500 at the start and 2,600 at the end. I've then written 2,568 by positioning it just before 2,570. I can see that it is closer to 2,600 than it is to 2,500, so I need to round up to 2,600. I hope you all found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. See you all soon. Bye.